to call in and ask a question about your life or connect with a loved one on the other side. The number is 845-277-9131. Yep. Second, um, yeah, 845-277-9131. Thank you. I will never reach out to you. Um, on social media or any place else, I will never reach out to you and tell you you need um, a reading or to do work with me. If you want work with me, if you want to work with me, if you want a reading, if you want um, anything like that, uh, you reach out to me at, via my website or my business number. And then we book that session. And my website is tonig.info. I just, I really don't want anyone to get scammed and spend money on something that is not what they think it is. Uh, third, I never do email readings. And a lot of these scammers will just email you things. I never, ever do email readings. I don't do email anything, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, I never do email anything. Okay, we're going to go to callers in a second. I just want to take a moment to thank everybody in the chat. Hey, Patrick. Thank you so much, Patrick. Um, Genevieve. I have some information about Genevieve, by the way, you guys. Hold on. I'm about to spill the tea on Genevieve. Um, Heather. Um, Heather wants some predictions. They're coming, Heather. They are coming. Hey, Sal and Rebecca, uh, Fawn and uh, Terry, everybody joining us in the chat. Thank you. If you would like to join us in the chat, all you have to do is join us live for showtime. To join us live for showtime, you just um, can click on YouTube live. I go live every Monday and Wednesday at noon. Um, every Monday and Wednesday at noon, I go live, noon central. So you can join on um, YouTube, which is what I used to record this Holden Nothing Back production. Yeah. <laughs> and Blog Talk, which is 845-277-9131. Um, either one of those you can join us live on. You can uh, join us in the chat 15 minutes before the show. Everybody's talking, asking questions, asking for songs and live predictions or live songs and predictions, however you want to say that. And then again, if you want to ask a question live, that would be via the um, 845-277-9131 number. Okay. I'm going to go first to um, names of people who have who have uh, come through from the other side. And the first one is John or Jonathan. There's a John or Jonathan that is um, here for someone. And, and uh, their message would be, um, I'm not gone. I'm just... Not, you're funny, Jonathan. He he doesn't even mean this in a funny way. I'm not gone. I'm just not visible to you. Meaning whomever is missing this person, they're not gone from you. They're just there with you. Okay. Um, the next person is a Chris or a Christine. Christina. Christine. Christina. Christina. Christine. Whatever it is. I think... Uh, um, Oh my gosh, I know who this is. I know who this is. It's not my person. Um, Joanne, this is for you. Because um, then I saw the last name and I knew instantly who this was. Um, uh, thank you for everything you did for me. I'm really grateful. I never showed as much gratitude as I should have. And thank you for always believing in me. I was... Um, Oh, I don't want to start my show crying. <laughs> uh, she wants to say, Auntie Joel, Auntie Joanne, thank you so much. You had so much more faith and belief in me than I ever did. And you never treated me like in a bad way. You never treated her 
how she felt about herself or you never had your treatment based on her behaviors and addictions. And don't be, don't be sad anymore. Don't be sad anymore because um, it's a much better situation for her now. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, okay, that's a heavy way to start the show, isn't it? Oi, oi, bay. Oh, okay. Um, the songs I'm hearing is that song. The line from the song I'm hearing is I'm already gone and I'm already gone. I don't, I can't sing that song on beat. In my head, it sounds perfect. Out my mouth, not so much. Um, sing this victory song, but I'm already gone. I think, is that the Eagles? I'll bet you Patrick's the first one to answer that. I'll bet you Patrick's the first one to answer that. I think that might be the Eagles. I don't know. Anyway, and then uh, the next song that I'm hearing for everybody is um, uh, the next song I'm hearing is that song. It's the Beatles, Let It Be, Let It Be. Only words of wisdom, let it be. So those are the two songs I'm hearing. And then the next thing that I want to say for predictions moving forward into the year. And I do all of this at the beginning of the show because once I start taking callers and answering questions, this is gone. And I know a lot of people would want to hear this stuff because this is for anybody listening and re-listening. And remember, the show airs live on YouTube Um blog talk, and a number of other podcasts, but it also airs on WSCS and all of their streaming channels. Hey, Scott, by the way, Scott, I have to make a trip out to WSCS just so I can bring Scott um, some donuts and say hi. And then also on Rude Rangers TV and all of their streaming channels. So this actually, it does air on TV um, television stations, all the streaming, a, a number of streaming channels, almost, if not all of the podcasts and um, radio stations. So I try to do things that are pertinent to, for, for everybody in all of it. So even if uh, like John or Jonathan isn't for somebody immediately joining us, it could be for somebody who's listening later on. Okay. Having said that, um, I, I do need to give a couple of predictions here. One of my biggest predictions is that in 2024 in the U.S., there are going to, they're going to try to implement significant changes in certain areas of our life. Um, now is the time for us to, uh, I hear that song by that reggae guy, Stand Up, Anna. Stand up for your rights. I don't, I don't stand up something. Stand up for your rights. That song, which was on a couple of weeks ago, you'd think I remember what the line is. I don't. I don't remember it. <laughs> oh, Patrick said the first song is right. It's the Eagles. Thank you, Patrick. I knew you'd be the one to answer that. Um, and then that, then it's so, and how do we do that? Um, pay attention to some of the things that, you know, I'm just going to say this, pay attention to your favorite conspiracy theorist. They're not wrong. They have not been wrong. It's been shown. So pay attention to them. And then if there's something you hear that you don't like, go with it. For example, um, lab grown meat. Say no. Make them put labels on that. Don't let them just slide it into restaurants because that's the first place they're selling it in the U.S. is to restaurants. Make sure you ask every restaurant, where do you get your meat from? Is it real meat or is it in a lab? You know, ask that. And if you think I'm wrong, go to the FDA's board and look up what they've recently approved as far as meat in the U.S., They've already done it with fruits and vegetables and they have to be labeled. And all the lab grown fruits and vegetables in the U.S. start with a four, not a nine or an eight, a four. 
And by the way, the mango is still sitting on my counter. <laughs> it's not even sprung any mold yet. Like we're going on week three or four here with a mango on the counter. Come on. Come on, folks. We want real food, right? Right. Oh, crap. Right? Um, and listen, if you want to eat lab meat or lab fruits and lab vegetables, that's fine. It, it doesn't have any nutrition. It's You might as well eat Doritos for dinner, uh, right? All right. That's on you. But I want to know what I'm eating. I want to know if I'm eating something made in a lab. I don't, I don't want to pay the price of a chicken, a farm chicken, and be getting something made in a lab, number one. But I also don't want to eat meat grown in a lab because... Part of when you eat something is the love and the nutrients in it. And if you don't believe that, I don't know where to start with you. Just don't know where to start with you. But there's that. I'm going to let that go. So one of the things I'm getting right now, um, be conscious, grow your food. If you can't grow your food where you live, um, some parks have places where you can grow food. Grow it in in on your windowsills. I just I just ordered this really cool thing from um, from a place I ordered that has like five rectangle things, and I'm gonna put it right in front of my window, and it's gonna be my herbs, all my herbs, and then um, I'm gonna get another one and do some some like fruits and vegetables in it. So awesome! But you can have a basement garden, you can have a garage garden, you can have. Um, uh, fruits and vegetables in front of your windows, whatever you want to do. Again, I'm going to say this for the last time. It's not the last time. Get yourself a therapy chicken that lays eggs. Yep. Get yourself a stress pig, a pig that's <laughs> for stress purposes. Therapy animals. You can have any animal you want as a therapy animal. If everybody in the family needs a different therapy animal, get it. That's all I'm saying saying what I'm saying. Okay, enough about that. Okay, we are good. Yep, get up, stand up. Uh, stand up for your rights. That's Bob Marley. Thank you. Thank you so much, Patrick. Okay, and also work with local farms. Local farmers, smaller farmers will always have what you want, what you need. Okay, here we go to Genevieve. I need to give Genevieve the biggest shout out ever. Now, I've known Genevieve for years. She's an amazing woman, just in general, just the most amazing woman and kind and loving and everything's in the right place in her head and her heart. OK, just let's just start there. But this past weekend, I reached out to her for some personal things going on with me. And I said, hey, you know what? This is what's going on. Can you help me? And um, where I where what she did floored. I'm shooketh, folks. I'm shooketh. Genevieve actually, um, she did some work on me energetically. Now she's in Canada. I'm in America. She did some work on me energetically that like I literally felt like, whew, and it was amazing. Now I know I can do that for other people, but she did it for me. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Slay, Genevieve, slay. Um, I'm just going to say, Genevieve, on Wednesday, Genevieve will be on the show with me, and she'll be giving out some of her information. So if anybody else wants to experience what Genevieve did for me, um, you will be able to reach out to her and um, work work that out with her. I, it was I'm going to say it was quite astounding uh, and that it, it was just amazing. I'm so grateful and blessed to, to have experienced that. Yeah. Okay. And again, thank you again, Genevieve. Thank you. I'm beyond grateful and um, honored that you took that time and energy for me. All right, I'm going to go to callers and questions now. So excited. I'm going to be alternating between questions um, from people who have called in and questions from people uh, putting them. This is my typing. You can tell I don't type. This is my typing fingers do, 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 um, on the chat. Okay, first we're going to do um, 
a, a live question from 262. 262, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Amy from New Milwaukee. Hey, Amy, how can I help you? Um, I had a different question, but I think in general, I'll just ask you if the, if the situation is with a different person, I should probably not ask it on behalf of another living person. I should tell them to call in. Would that be correct or does it really not matter? Um, do they want you to get the information for them or are oh, you they just... didn't ask me to? No, then don't. Just ask me something for you, love. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to double check because I was like, I'm curious and it sort of affects me, but not really. So then my other question would be, you. Um, I think you had told me my Aunt Diane was reaching out and I wanted to know if you had more information or wanted to expand on anything she was trying to communicate. Yeah, she's just saying the first thing I hear so loudly, like she's almost screaming it, love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Um and then the next thing she's saying is don't let the past dictate your future. I love that statement. I hear it so much from people in the other side or, you know, on that plane. They always want to say to us, like, drop the past like we do the garbage bag in the garbage bin. Just drop it and let it go. Um, don't don't keep revisiting that. Uh, don't keep even though it's. Now, let me say as a human right now, I'm channeling Aunt Diane for Amy. As a human, you know, I split my time, you know, 40% in the past, 40% in the future, 20% sleeping. Okay, that's just human living. But if they could tell us, they would say, it's like trying to just don't. It's like once a scar, like let's say you scrape yourself and you get a scab. Once that scab's gone, you never think about it again, right? Like let it go. Uh -huh. That's basically what she wants to say to you. Everything from the past, if, if you can't get, okay, if you cannot get a different perspective on the past, Excuse me. If you can't get a different perspective on the past or a different take, like this wasn't a punishment or something bad that happened to me, it was a lesson. If you can't grasp that perspective when you think of the past, don't think of the past. As soon as the past comes in, think new thoughts about the present and the future where you're going. And the only time the past should be in your head is if you're getting a new perspective or a new way of looking at the past. But otherwise, only focus on the present and what you're building for your future. Because otherwise, you're bringing that energy, those thoughts, bring that energy and those types of people back into your life again. So sometimes we just have to like not even think about it and just move forward. And then she's just saying to you again, Amy, love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Um, you, everything... Everything that happens with each and every one of us is to help us become the strongest, most empowered version of ourselves, And we just have to move forward with that, not worrying about the rest of it. Now, I know that's, that sounds so much easier than sometimes than it is, but it is what she's saying. And that's the message she wants to give you <sighs> on the air. No. Privately, okay. she might say different stuff, but on the air, that's what she's what? telling you. Um, I hope that makes sense, love. Okay. Yep. Excellent, 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 Amy. Thank you so very, very much. Thank you. I hope you have an amazing day, Amy. Thanks, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Amy, um, I know I muted you, but later on, reach out to me because um, there's a business I know of that's um, hiring for acupuncturists. So if not for you, um, somebody you know might be interested in working there, but um, text me later on today and I'll send you that info. Okay, I'm going to go 631. You're going to be the next caller, but I'm going to go quickly to the first um, question. 
on the chat. And the first question comes from Christine. Hi, Christine. Welcome to the show. Uh, hi, Tony. I'm having surgery Friday. Do you see a positive outcome? Yes. Um, the one thing I'm hearing for you, Christine, is make sure you take all the time you need to recover. Um, don't try to gung-ho it. And remember, you feel better before you are better. Just don't do anything that would compromise yourself in any way, okay? Christine, I hope that's that's very helpful for you. If you would like to call in and ask a question or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is six, uh, not six three one. Sorry, six three one. The number is three. The number is eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. Um, th so please feel free to call in. I'm going to go to 631-631. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. Hey. Hi. This is Greg from uh, New York. Hey, Greg. How can I help you today? Um, just want to see if you're feeling anything about maybe what's going on, uh, my future with retiring within the next few years, uh, you know. Is it a good thing? Should I or stay on a little bit longer? And, you know, that old question, should we move down south? Yeah, I'm always going to say move down south. But here, um, here's what I'm getting. I don't feel like, okay, this, this answer might be a little bit longer than you may have anticipated. You're going to work longer than you think you are going to work. However, it might not be doing the same thing you're, or the same thing at the same place that you're currently doing it. So for example, if you retire from one thing, you're going to pick up another thing. I don't think you will ever truly, truly retire. I feel like you'll just start something. Once you let go of where you are and you relocate, you're going to pick up something else just to I diddle daddle. I don't know where that word is coming from. Diddle daddle around yeah. and be in that yeah. space where you're right. still working per se. Um, I do feel like there will be a relocation for you. I do feel like that relocation will be a really positive relocation. Now, the exact time frame of you retiring from where you are to the next phase in your life. You have free will to do that. As of right now, I'm hearing that might be around that two-year mark. And of course, you know, this world runs on what we want and we can change our mind at any point. So if you don't do it at two years, you right. might do it at three, you might do it at one. But as of right now, it looks like that two-year mark is the strongest mark for you. Now, again, that may change. That might turn into... Um, whenever it turns into. And I do feel like though, at, shortly after you retire from where you are and what you're doing, you will relocate, reinvent yourself completely, and then start doing something different or new where you end up. I hope that makes sense to you. Wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's funny you say that because uh, in my mind, I do have two more years left before I retire. And uh, that, that was about the mark that we were deciding on uh, whether to, uh, you know, stay or go. Yeah. And I do. And I, I feel like you definitely, even before the end of the two year mark, you're going to kind of make, start making tentative plans to where you want to be uh, relocating right. to. And I think it's going to come down. If you, I don't know. I feel like you're debating between two, two areas that you want to be in. Now, these two areas might be in the same state or they might be two different states, but I feel like you're trying to decide between two areas. And as the time gets closer to you retiring, you're going to know exactly where you want to be and why. So don't even worry about that now because some things are going to change between now and retirement time. And that will really hone that into an exact location for you right around that year and a half to year and three quarter mark. Okay. Okay. Excellent. I, I, well, 
I pretty hope, accurate. Thank you. You are yeah. so well. That's I, I'm really I'm really grateful. It is. It's a, a thank you for the confirmation. Um, and thank you so much for calling in. Uh, I'm here every Monday and Wednesday. Thank you so much. Yep, I appreciate it. Absolutely, my pleasure. I look forward to the next time. Okay. Yes, they will be. Thank you. Excellent, excellent, perfect. Take um, care, yourself. You too. Thank you. The call in number is eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. If you'd like to call in, remember to push one if you have a question to ask or you want to communicate on the phone. Remember to push that number one so I can um, take your take your question or know that you have a question. Is that the way to say it? Okay, I'm going to go to the next question. Um, and uh, answer that. So Patrick is saying, I'm not sure if this is a question, um, but we'll we'll see what he says. I heard some people talking just the other day and said you were going to put me in a shell, but let me tell you, oh, this is from the song. I got some news and you, and you'll soon find out it's true. Yep. That's from a song. Thank you, Patrick, for putting the verse in there. Thank you. I love that. Thank you. I think I'm pretty positive. That's from a song, Patrick. Um, okay. Uh, Sally. Hey, Sally. Welcome to the show. Good to see you. Um, to my mom, Juliana, is meeting my boyfriend, Noah, this Sunday for Easter. Ooh, an Easter introduction. Love that. I would like to know how will the meeting go? Thoughts, emotions. <laughs> okay, um, Sally and Noah are going to be, well, Noah is going to be meeting Juliana. First impression is going to be solid, is what I hear, Sally. The first impression that your mom has of him is going to be solid. Um, I feel like it's going to go well. I feel like it's going to go well. It's going to be, and this is a good thing, it's going to be a bit uneventful meaning no drama, no chaos, no nothing. Um, so I would say everything should go very well and you should have a very good, very um, good meeting, okay? Um, yeah. I feel like that it's going to go very well. Hey, Mimi, how are you? Thank you for being on the show with us here today. Um, yes, yes. Okay, you guys, I am only doing a 30-minute show today because I'm so booked up with um, clients and we're almost at that 30-minute mark, but I will be back Wednesday. I will. I'll be back Wednesday. Um, at noon central to do more. Um, so please call in and connect with me on Wednesday and we will do this all over again. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Remember, I love each and every one of you. So stinking much. I cannot wait till Wednesday to connect with you again. Thanks and have an absolutely amazing day. Everybody.